Hey, good news, ladies and gentlemen. Sam Sulek has been seen alive raiding a grocery store's Krispy Kreme section after being hospitalized for overdosing on chocolate milk. And uh, man, is this kid popular. It's not even close. He got like 2 million views on this video in a week. And the next is literally 10 times the amount of views of anyone else on YouTube. So we're going to give some constructive criticism on his grocery shopping. All right, we'll kind of just do a little bit of fucking jump cuts between, you know, whatever else I have to get. So I'm thinking a solid opener. It's fucking eggs. So, I mean, this is only food for two days. I'll just get two dozen. Actually, I think I lied. This is like Walmart, right? I mean, maybe some of you guys are familiar with the background, but if you're buying groceries from a Walmart, nothing's going to be like super fresh and, and you're not really going to find high quality stuff. Now, regular conventional eggs are, are basically poison. At least you're getting some protein and some cholesterol, but, you know, the health of the fats in there with the omega-6 and the stuff they inject into the chickens, the chemicals and pollutants in the feed, it's just soy, corn, so it's so bad. There we go. Three dozen will be a little better. Zero sugar AMW root beer. Not that there's a specific dieting purpose for like zero calorie drinks, apart from the fact that it's just kind of a sweet treat. Now, one big thing most Americans do is they drink large amounts of fluoridated chemical filled products. Whether it's soda or coffee, Starbucks, stuff in restaurants, just by removing all of those negative halogens, the fluoride, the chlorine, and the chemicals from it, it's it, it's so important. It's so important. You know, the more just kind of the more calorie. I don't want to say calorie safe, but let's just say calorie effective options that you can go for. I mean. We're about to get into a couple more, but like, you know, low sugar barbecue sauce, diet soda, whatever. Like, this stuff adds up. You know, you got to think, if you're drinking three sodas, let's say let's say you drink three Cokes in one day. I mean, that's 120 carbs. Do you really need 120 grams of carbs? Certainly not if you're dieting. But Yeah, but these people don't factor in, you know, the organ damage and overall cellular damage from consuming all these crappy low-calorie foods. There are dozens of people in every gym on the treadmill for hours that can't lose weight because they're just so poisoned. Like it's, they're restricting their calories. They're barely eating. They're eating salads. They're doing everything the mainstream has told them is healthy. They're doing cardio. They're trying to lose weight, yet they're still blobs of fat on the treadmill and they're tired. They're exhausted. They're suffering. You know, they're, Again, they're restricting their diet, they're working out hard, and they're not losing weight. And it's because, one, the foods in the diet are not high quality, they're not good enough to build optimal cellular health, and two, is the radiation in the environment. But this guy is injecting insane amounts of synthetic hormones, which offset a lot of those negatives. And I wasn't going to touch on it, but you know, he, he has a, a Rode wireless microphone on his hat, Anytime you use an electronic device, hardwired is always better. It's lower radiation. But I mean, if you're walking through a grocery store, you're getting fried anyway. Eggs, soda, let's cut to what's next. It's actually a little bit far from where we're at. I don't think we have to turn this into a whole one shot podcast. Now, usually I'd want to go for the fat free cheese. But I do just love like the single Americans. Yeah, bro, craft singles, so real genius stuff. My most diet friendly, like snack choice. But you know, what are you gonna do? You know, surprisingly, so. sometimes those cheeses are not that bad. It, it's usually just ingredients as like cheese, or well, it's milk, and then maybe like one or two other things, like the the enzyme, the rennet. And it's, it's not bad. Sometimes they do add artificial coloring. Sometimes there are chemicals in some of these cheeses. But if anything, cheese might be some of the only quality protein that a lot of people are getting in their diets now, even if it's Kraft Singles. I've got to be a little bit meticulous here in the fucking cheese aisle because I'm looking for... I mean, Not necessarily quality protein, but at least it's animal protein. Right here. And I need two of them. 
in, in a very specific style. And they know just how to hide them, too. Yeah, real rocket oh, science, spiral. bro. I'll always get the craft fat-free mozzarella and cheddar. So if I make an omelet with, let's say, 12 egg whites, and I throw three pieces of that American cheese on the inside of it, and then fold it over, that's an extra 150 grams of calories. Oh, oh. That's an extra 150 calories. Whereas, and it's coming from fats and carbs. Like, and, and I'm not really getting anything out of it. For me to eat some keto bread as a carb source. You know what's interesting to me is none of these bodybuilders as far as I know, have ever just tried having high quality foods, you know, chemical free diets, focusing on animal protein and seeing how it affects their body composition. I'm sure they would be so much healthier and just leaner all year round. And then all they would have to do is just restrict the calories. You know, when you're doing extreme stuff like no carbs, no fat, I mean, I don't think people ever really do no protein, but they're eliminating macronutrients and Every human diet for all of existence, for the most part, has had all of the macronutrients in it with the rare exception of like the, the Inuit Alaskan Eskimos. And even then they would eat carbs if they had access to them, like berries and stuff and, and different plant foods in certain parts of the year. But the vast majority, you know, 99% of all civilizations, the diet has carbs, fats, and proteins. The body works the best on all of those. So it makes more sense to just eat quality foods. And if you want to lose weight, you can restrict calories evenly across the board instead of doing extreme diets, eliminating macronutrients so you can eat more food volume or whatever. I'm going to be pretty full for not that many carbs. But for me to take in... Uh, that's what I just... What I exactly like what I said. 12 grams of fat from that cheese and then 6 grams of carbs. I mean, it's not very filling at all. So the fat-free cheese... I mean, <laughs> the macros are actually kind of freaking buffed for a whole, uh, well, 28 grams, nine grams of protein, two grams of carbs, zero fat, I guess that's you know, it's just bodybuilding is this super unrealistic thing. Like this guy is already like way more muscular than the average person would ever want to be. His body fat levels are already really, really, really super lean, yet it's just to the extreme where he wants to be bigger and even more lean. So Definitely something to be said about how unhealthy and unrealistic bodybuilding is. And the guys that girls are drooling over on social media, like it doesn't like I'm more muscular than I think all of those guys for the most part. And I'm not even that muscular. The, the girls care about your height, your face and stuff. So the appeal for this is just some uh, weird muscle obsessed. Uh, well, we won't be too mean today. We won't be too mean today. It's from the name of it. To the sauna boys. But, you know, all these little things I'm. I can't emphasize enough how much they add up to changing the amount of calories that you get in per day without having to feel like you're just you know, starving yourself. So cutting straight into another classic. Maybe your body's live telling you something. carb smart buns. Honestly, I've got to eat today, tomorrow, and the next day. I'm going to get three of these. Yeah, bro, so trick your body well, that you're feeding your gut bacteria with bread. They're not more expensive than normal. A normal pack of the of the uh, the hamburger buns is like three and a half bucks. These are five, so a little more, but the macro difference is insane. So let's just look at let's just random ass hamburger buns. You're cutting it down from twenty grams of carbs to three. I think that's a no brainer in a dieting context, especially. So honestly, we're Getting close to the end. I have a ton of food at, at a, well, I say home, at my parents' house. So it's not like I have to restock a whole kitchen right now. I'm just getting some things that I need. So I've been doing ground beef, but honestly, I kind of been liking steaks too. So I think I'll get a little bit of each. And again, I'm still looking for the, <laughs> the lowest calorie source possible. So for ground beef first, I'm not going to grab 80 20. That's insane. Yeah, bro, 80 20 is real insane. This is probably the leanest I've ever seen. Just 96% lean. So, I mean, not nothing. But. Oh, hey, boys, we got some great A Angus prom beef. Although, I think 96% beef is, is pretty healthy. I mean, there's like basically no fat in it. And 
you know, in the context of all like the conventional feedlot foods you can have, that's probably the best food, period. Least inflammatory. When you drain it out, I mean, it's pretty much close. Like, let me look actually. So I'll just cook the whole thing at once and kind of like meal prep it. But this whole thing, it says nine, gr oh no, 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 18 grams of fat. But when I cook it up and I, you know, pour it into a strainer to drain the fat out, I've got to get at least half of it out. So I only counted as like nine This is like, honestly, thing. this is like one of the unhealthiest things you can do. Not only is he, you know, avoiding fats, which is typical of bodybuilders to avoid fats when they're cutting. He's avoiding carbs too, which, you know, you have an extremely high pro. And yeah, some bodybuilders do that too, but. You have an extremely high protein diet and we've done specific videos that you know protein is the hardest macronutrient on the body it's very difficult to digest it you know just sitting large volumes of protein sitting undigested in the stomach are very inflammatory so you know that combined with him taking stuff like accutane and uh and the drugs and stuff not healthy that's not my most exact aspect but it's I'm definitely, you drain out a ton of fat when you drain off the ground beef. So now I think I'll just drain, get some kind mostly of mostly liquid B vitamins. Steak. Dude. Especially if the beef is really getting lean. into the sirloins at the, the end. The beef is 96.4. When you cook it, there is no fat is going to render out of that. Zero fats rendering out of that. It's, it's all B vitamins he's draining out. Into the bulk. But they're just so fatty. I mean, there's no point for me to eat one now. I don't know if it even shows the. Is it sh no, no, I'm not, not sirloin. What am I talking about? I was talking about ribeye. Yeah, I was doing a ton of ribeyes, but like, like it's, it's like 30 grams of fat each. You can just taste how rich they are. So I've been leaning a little bit more so towards top rounds. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. One pound, 10 bucks. Yeah, we have oh. actually those for around that price on Frankie's range meat, 100% grass fed top round. It's the cut used for roast beef. It's usually known as London broil. It's like a, it's like a cheap, not so tender cut of beef, but it's definitely the leanest. But you can find ribeyes that are lean. You can find any cut of steak that's lean. You know, people associate like cuts of meat with set levels of fat in them, but it, it entirely depends on the animal's carcass and and the intramuscular marbling it developed depending on the animal's genetics and dieting. so Because if you look at a ribeye and it's just as lean as the top round, there's not going to really be that much more fat in it. It's going to be about the same. So, you know, do, don't eat tough meat because, like, you think you're getting less fat. A little something, you know. But I guess I, uh, it doesn't show the macro. So this is the kind of food where I'm not going to be able to just look at the back and read off the macros, like, per pound or per ounce or per whatever you can't do macros with i'm meat. actually gonna have to go online that's what these bodybuilders like... don't understand unless you're eating like lean chicken breast you can't there's no way to know the specific macronutrient profile of a steak unless you send it into a laboratory and even then it's it's just arbitrary nonsense that is not the solution to being healthy and even what he's trying to do with his exact goals he'd be 100 percent better on a diet like mine you know top round so-and-so macros usually the website will go to the most is like calorie king and you'll be able to plug in like the exact weight of it uh oh, it gets kind of weird too because when you do that you have to like look up and side note these types of shirts i don't know if that's like those buttons i don't like that much but it's called like a henley i kind of like it because it's not like as casual as a t-shirt you know it's got a few buttons on top so it's not like completely out there i don't know and make sure that you're using the right measurement because i can look up the weight like you know four ounces of the top round steak whatever but you got to make sure when you do that that it says you know cooked or raw usually for the most How part many I like calories to... are in sauna boy sweat bro that's what these bodybuilders should be worried about measure it out raw <laughs> just because you never like let's say you cooked it really well done and it's super dry a ton of water came out of it I mean, you're just adding complexity to the aspect of weighing it. So I think weighing it in its raw state is probably your best method. So buns, eggs, fat-free cheese, as well as normal. Or you should weigh 
your brain before and after this crazy diet to see the volume of brain cells that you lost from the nutrient starvation, the low fat diet. Ground beef, a steak. Oh yeah. So when I make the egg whites, just plain eggs, it's kind of bland. I mean, it's not the most interesting, I don't want to be a food critic, but say mouth feel. So instead of just making plain eggs, what I'll do is I'll get like a pre-chopped bag of salad. You know, I'm not going to use the dressing, of course, but I'll just pour the lettuce kind of into the egg whites and kind of mix Sounds it up. Sounds disgusting. Just because once it gets cooked, Lettuce I mean, and eggs. Like once it gets cooked, it kind of gives the uh, gives the eggs a little bit more texture. Yeah, so do like Which mushrooms or good. peppers or onions or something yeah. reasonable to put in eggs? Just something like this, perfect. I've so honestly, I'm not sure I've ever that's all I fucking heard need. of lettuce and eggs. I well, let me think for like one more second, but obviously, <laughs> there's no donuts, there's no cereal. I was walking by the chocolate milk. Boo. I was getting a little bit distracted. Boo! Where's the Krispy Kreme sponsorship? You know, that's just how you got to do it. You got to take the bulk with the cut. So, uh, I'm definitely starting to feel the There's no low-carb Krispy Kreme. I'd give What's it maybe... No, not even. i say we got four weeks left. Four weeks, maybe five weeks of trimming. Krispy Kreme is going to come out with the Sam Selleck edition. Keto, low-carb, donuts. Down. And then we can start bulking up again. I'm uh, getting a little bit too excited. I need to, I need to not jump the gun on it. But that's pretty much about all I'm going to get for the next couple of days. I'm going to eat different kind of food at home, but, you know, this is just stuff that I'm getting from me specifically. If your mom's getting all your groceries, you know, if you're in my high school kid demographic, then just give her a little grocery list, tell her you want some, some this, that, or the other. <laughs> These poor kids are lucky. Their parents even feed them with the attitude of some of these parents now. It's, it's di definitely difficult because it's, re it's really always a budget thing and people struggle with money. So, Ideally, she'll get it for you. That would be perfect. It gets kind of funky tracking all your macros and stuff if you're only eating like food that your mom cooks. Uh, so, I mean, ever since I started lifting, even early high school. My advice to high school kids is if, you, if anything, just get your parents to buy as much red meat as possible. You need... The vitamins and the minerals and the protein and the red meat to, to develop. The other stuff, it's it's not as big of a deal. But you know, if you eat a lot of red meat, you, you know you're from a certain age. You're gonna end up like over six feet tall. You're gonna at least be tall, which for a guy is is one of the most well, the most important thing in, in like if if you care a lot about getting a girlfriend or finding a mate or that type of stuff. So most important thing for high school kids is just get your parents to buy you some red meat if there's budget issues if there's restrictions if there's only one thing that you can focus on that would be it the house kind of transitioned from like family meals to everybody kind of doing their own stuff just because we all kind of you know, eat our own way but i think that's it let's cut to the car talk for our arms okay so grocery trip is over uh, you know, a lot of indigenous groups, I mean, every indigenous group, they all ate the same stuff because they, they all had high quality natural foods and they were all healthy and there was a sense of community and all that type of stuff. But, uh, you know, his, his cutting diet, it, it's not like food choice wise. It doesn't look that bad, but the fact that he has like no fats or no carbs in the diet is the bigger issue. Small amount of chemicals, overall low food quality, but it's it's not half as bad as as the first few days of eating we saw him doing from from like the bodybuilding fitness perspective meal prep stuff the only thing reasonable that we've ever seen these people eat is just like plain meals of steak and rice that's that's really the only legitimate thing that i would think is safe to eat on on uh, from an overall health perspective on a consistent basis so thank you guys for joining me hopefully uh you know you guys are enjoying your uh football sundays and relaxing i'm gonna Go to work in a little bit, as usual. Uh, so if you guys do want to support me, we have a lot of new and interesting products on Frankie Strange Meat and FrankieStrangeFoods.com. Highest quality, unique, best prices online, most affordable. You guys are supporting small businesses, uh, local Amish farmers, 
you know, people who are interested in health products and all the money just goes right back into the business and providing you guys with high quality, affordable stuff. That's why we have new stuff every week because all these other businesses, they're too busy buying their daughter's Mercedes and, you know, they're, coll- they're going to nice colleges and, and that type of stuff. I'm not going to make too many more jokes. But the point is, check out frank Support Support the local businesses and, um, and smaller people instead of this Amazon, Costco, Walmart, evil nonsense. But outside of that, guys, drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And above all, please share it. You know, if you like the products, if you like anything, let your friends know about it. Let them try them out. If if you guys give, if you guys give your friend a bar or some meat to try out, just let me know. I'll, I'll pay their I'll pay for their steak. Uh, see you guys soon.